from the London Contemporary School of Piano. Today I'm going to show you the ropes of jazz piano, jazz harmony. One of the most important things you need to know about jazz harmony is the interval of the sevenths. And it's really what differentiates jazz harmony from classical harmony, is the way that the seventh chord functions. I call this the holy trinity of seventh chords because there are three active seventh chords that function in this music and in this harmony and they have a really distinctive sound to them. So think of classical music. Classical music is built on this idea of major and minor. Now, let's talk about the seventh. The seventh chord, the C major seventh in this case, or a major seventh chord, has a very specific sound to it. I think this chord almost sounds like it's on holidays. It's very static. It's lying on a beach somewhere. And to construct this chord, you literally just get the note from the octave and you take it down a semitone. And we have a C major seventh. Now, the other type of seventh chord is the dominant seven. And it's a tone below the octave. It has a very different sound to it, doesn't it? It sounds more like it's moving somewhere. Or it just sounds bluesier. So, schmoozy, bluesy, major seven, dominant seven. Then we have the minor seven, which uses the same interval as the dominant seven, but it's just built on a minor chord. Schmoozy, bluesy, mellow. Now, these three chord functions are the ecosystem of jazz harmony. Even when you start adding extra notes like ninth intervals and elevenths, they're built on these constructs. So let's put this into practice then. So let's start with the chord progression. Let's start with a C minor 7. I'm going to show you three different ways to play this chord progression. Here's a starting point. A C minor 7 chord. And then we're going to just drop the top two notes of this C minor 7 chord and move to an F7. C minor 7. F dominant 7. I'm just doing this with the left hand. Now let's switch to the right hand. So that was a C minor 7 to an F7. Now let's try it with a slightly different voicing. Let's start with our thumb on the seventh. So this is a C minor seventh with my thumb starting on the seventh. Now this gives me a really cool opportunity to convert this next chord, the F7, the F dominant seven, into an F9. How do I do that? Well, the beauty of great jazz harmony or any harmony on the piano is to do complicated things in a simple way, is to make something complex sound simple and smooth. So in this case, all I'm going to do is drop my thumb down a semitone and keep the rest of my notes the same. I've helped the F in the bass and I've just constructed an F9 chord. F, A, C, E flat, G. That's one, three, five, seven, nine. But let's not think about too much theory now. Just explore the physicality of doing this because the physicality is actually more simple than the theory. It just fits the fingers nicely. I don't have to really overthink the change. I'm just dropping my thumb down the semitone. Let me jam on it for a bit. I'm 
this line up. Now I'm going to take it to the left hand. And in the right hand, I'm going to improvise the C blue scale over the top. show you another voicing of the same thing. We're going to take it up a notch. So we turned this C minor 7 to an F7 into a C minor 7 to an F9. Now we're going to play, listen to this, an F9, sorry, a C minor 9 to an F13. My, the, the numbers are starting to confuse even me. But don't worry, it's not about the numbers. Again, it's about the physicality. So this chord is a C minor 9. Here's the C. My thumb is on the 7th. It's a good jazz trick, by the way. Thumb on the 7th. Great place for the thumb to go. Second finger on the 9th. Third finger on the 3rd. And the 5th finger on the 5th. So we've got 1, 7, 9, 3rd and 5th. And just listen to that sound. Isn't that such a just wonderful sound? It's one of those chords I could just sit and play all day in every single key. Just can't really go wrong, can't you? That, that sound. So now, to get to this crazy F13th chord, all I have to do, I've set myself up to succeed here. I'm just going to drop my thumb down a semitone. An F in the bass. And if you want to know the numbers, that's one, three, Six and seven, and nine, and the six and seven equals 13, so we just call it a 13th chord. C minor seven, F13. C minor nine, so when you play the C minor nine, you don't really need to think about the next chord, you just drop the thumb. C minor nine, drop the thumb, left hand on F. Baseline. together a special improvisation PDF summary and chord cheat sheet of these tips and tricks for those of you who wish to improve your creative piano playing. To receive your download, you can visit contemporaryschoolofpiano.com and ask us for the Stingray Music Series Pack and we will send you the material with our compliments.